Hi guys, it's Will JIT Preparedness and Info. Today we're going to talk about something that doesn't get talked about very much, and uh, so I'm going to cover it right now. It's going to be about beeswax, the uses, and the tips, and from around and how we use them around the, the homestead. So that is the name of it. I got that out there. Now let's get down to it, and we're going to talk about the different things that you can do with it. I'm going to show you, this is how I have mine. They have different ways of doing it, but if you look, this is how I have mine. So I can break it down and use it in different uh, things. So you want to make some salve with it. You can simply melt it down, make some salve with it, something like a, a neosporin. It's easy to make, and it, you can even, if you do it right, you can sell it or uh, barter it to your friends. Another thing that you can do with them are, and it's very simple to do, is you can melt them down and put them in uh, either jars or little aluminum uh, canisters and make candles out of them. They make excellent candles. Another good thing is it makes a good wax food wrap. You simply lay your saran wrap down on the counter and you melt your wax. And then you take and you wipe it down with a nice thin layer of the wax and it makes it so you can preserve food better that way. It's really good. You can make make it with a large sheet of it or you can break it down into squares or rounds. And you want to make sure that you do one side of it and then wait for 10 minutes to let it uh, solidify. Then turn it over and do that other side and then let that sit for Ten minutes as well, and then you're you're good to go. Fold it up, where you can take the squares and the rounds, and stack them up and put them away. Another good thing that you can use it for would be for like uh, bow strings. It keeps the string from fraying. So if you're a, a avid bow user, you just take it. See how it is, take it and just rub it onto your bow strings and it keeps them from fraying. Very good, uh, very good. Waterproofing is a good waterproofer. You can take it and actually rub it on things like zippers. Put it on a zipper and it keeps the zipper not only lubricated, but it'll keep it waterproof. Another good thing is you can take it and you can rub it on your backpacks and things like that and your other gear. And it is an excellent waterproofer. Another good thing it's for is chapstick. Chapstick is good because it keeps your lips moisturized. And you take it and you just mix it up with a little bit of oil and you'll find the right consistency by just playing around with it. You can sit there and uh, put just a little oil in it until it comes to the right consistency where you can put it on your lips. Another good thing for it is a, a fixin' wrap, a fixin' wax. And that's a way that you uh, put the oil together with a little bit of uh, uh, the wax together with a little bit of oil and then you can rub it on things like zippers or even on leather uh, if you rub leather down with it it keeps it uh, uh, it keeps it moisturized and you can put those kind of things like in those little Altoid tins. You can either go and buy the, the mints or you can go and buy the just 
the tins online and that is good and now what I do with uh, I'm gonna bring this up this here is a whole uh, container well actually Ziploc bag and that is all fat wood what I do is I, sh uh, I shred down the fat wood and then I go ahead and I put the uh, melt the melt the wax and I'll put it into the fat wood and I'll shake it up and I'll let it get a whole uh, container well actually Ziploc bag and that is all fat wood what I do is I sh uh, shred down the fat wood and then I go ahead and I put the uh, melt the melt the wax and I'll put it into the fat wood and I'll shake it up and I'll let it get real saturated and then I'll send it off to the side and I'll let it dry and that makes excellent fire starter you just melt it away and you can do that with cotton balls too you can take your wax, melt it down, take some uh, <laughs> pinchers, I'll just say pinchers, and dip them down in the wax, bring them out, and then let that uh, dry. That becomes a fire starter. And then another good thing to use it for, and uh, is a very good idea is you can use it to make dental floss. You can take uh, the long strings, uh, not the not the, the thick ones, but the thin ones. Take the long strings and just dab them into the uh, melted wax. Let it saturate in there, and then take it out and just wipe it off with your fingers like this and it becomes uh, floss. So those are some pretty good things that you can do with beeswax from your homestead. Don't forget, uh, it comes in big things. I don't know how many of you know, but they come in big things like this when they get them all processed. And I have several, several of them. So if any of you guys would like to have a couple let me know uh, my address is actually uh, in my about section and if you uh, send me your address <coughs> to my email address which is in my about section then I will send you a couple of these to play around with I have plenty of them I wouldn't mind sending some out uh, but there's lots of stuff that you can do with them. So that's about all I have. Those are a bunch of uh, ideas that you can have for using your beeswax from your beehives from around your homestead. Okay, that's it for today. I want you guys to uh, try some of this stuff and, make, and let me know how it works for you. And then don't forget, uh, today's Friday, so tomorrow at 2 o'clock I'll be live streaming, so I'd like to see all you guys there. Maybe uh, you can tell me what you think of the beeswax ideas. And let me see, at Monday I'll be on at uh, 1 o'clock, and we're going to just start doing... Mondays and Fridays for the live streams and I'll try to put a uh, informational video up for you guys in between. Okay, uh, that's all I have for you guys for today. I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, watching. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit that little red button down there and become subscribed. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up to let me know that you like the video.